Before going in to meet President Sebastián Piñera, President-elect Gabriel Boric made a small detour, a way of sending a message that no one is more important than the ordinary people who voted for him. Then he went into the presidential palace, where the 35-year-old former student leader will be the boss starting March 9th. President Sebastián Piñera showed him around, and then they met for two hours to discuss Chile's future. As is traditional, the president-elect is expected to appoint a shadow cabinet to work alongside the current government to smooth the transition and to ease market jitters. So far, relations between both sides have been extremely civilized, which is rather ironic considering that Congressman Gabriel Boric just two months ago was voting in favor of the impeachment of President Piñera. But what a difference an electoral victory makes. Boric says he will work to maintain macroeconomic stability as he embarks on overhauling the pension, education and health systems. Permanent expenditure requires durable finance, so we are going to advance in our structural reforms one step at a time so that we don't fail, little by little, with care. Boric's election in Sunday's runoff by a historic number of votes defied predictions. He is leading a new left movement. A key question is who he'll choose as his ministers of economy and the interior, and how many, if any, key positions will go to his allies from the Communist Party. Even Boric's opponents concede that change is inevitable. This is the end of one cycle and the beginning of another. And what awaits us requires dialogue and bridge building. Delegates to the Constitutional Convention who are rewriting Chile's Magna Carta are overjoyed, since Boric is a staunch supporter of the process. This process was born out of a profound political and social crisis that persists. So the new constitution is crucial to redirect the country and start to resolve that crisis. Enormous changes await the country that was considered the standard bearer of social and political stability in Latin America. Chile will soon embark on a new road with a new generation with new ways of seeing politics, a transition that already seems to have begun. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Santiago.